Hi everyone, so today I'm going to do a science experiment and this is my second video on it. So today I'm going to show you how the methyl orange indicator works. So I have methyl orange right here and I'm using strong acid and bases that I have now. I'm using hydrochloric acid concentrated, I'm diluting it. Then as well as sodium hydroxide, I'm also diluting it, then I'll do it. Methyl orange right here and as you can see the methyl orange it's dark orange in color like usual i'm just gonna stripe it off just taking off the pack i'm just gonna tear off this now we have the color as you can see right here. This is kind of a fluorescent color. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna open it. It's opening. Oh, it has a plastic stopper at the top. I'm just gonna take this off. So I have it opened right now methyl orange now i'm just gonna pour it into this there's no exact amount for pouring it so i poured about 15 ml now here this is hydrochloric acid this is one of the most dangerous acids but it is diluted so it's okay for this and i'm just gonna pour bit by bit as you can see the color of it has changed to red right so i'm just gonna pour it till it's completely red yeah this is the hydrochloric acid at the bottom and this is mixed with the partial hydrochloric acid turning it red and the methyl orange is still orange so i'm keeping this back there and i'm taking the sodium hydroxide this is more dangerous than hydrochloric acid it's a base though so i'm just gonna pour methyl orange into it as you can see the color has gone to almost yellow so I need it to be a bit more yellow than usual but it is almost yellow it's something like dark yellow and this is still orange as you can see right there and this is a kind of dark yellow not even light I I imagine it to be white and this is something turning like to a darker reds as you can see so this is what happened when I added it in hydrochloric acid and this is what happened when I added nothing, and this is the exact color of the methyl orange. And here we have the sodium hydroxide turned almost light yellow. It's like medium right now. I think if I mix it, it would go right. So I'm keeping them back. So I've has added this hydrochloric acid right here. Uh, this is highly concentrated. I just added a bit of water to dilute it and this is sodium hydroxide highly concentrated this is the one of the most corrosive base ever so this is the one added with base it's turned a bit yellow towards the bottom it takes time to mix literally so as you can see it hasn't yet mixed with the bottom acids and this is when i added it to an acid and this is what happened when I added nothing, this is the exact methyl orange color. So I'm just gonna take it safely. So this is the one, it's almost overflowing, that's why I took it for safety. And this is the one when I added it with sodium hydroxide. So it's a base, it's a corrosive base and you can also do it with mild bases such as baking soda and mild acid such as vinegar, I mean acetic acid, and it would work good. And I'm concluding that when you add a base to the methyl orange right here, it turns dark red or sometimes it goes almost purple, like mauve in color. And also when I added nothing, the methyl orange color is orange as you can see right here and as well as on this test tube right here. It's orange so I'm just giving it back and finally I'm concluding when you add it to a strong black like this one you will get it yellow so at the bottom you can see this is the exact color it should be in 
And that's it for today's video. Like, share, and subscribe to get more chemistry videos like this. Bye.